Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to edit your audio. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it using slip editing and also using time stretching. So, a project set up here with a bunch of tracks, and some of them are out of time. Now, in this video, I'm not looking to quantize everything. I just want to fix certain mistakes, as you'll see. Let's see what it sounds like now. <laughs> Now, the first thing I'm noticing is the solo guitar is a bit out of time. In the intro, it plays a bit too early. So let's zoom in to this track and see where it lines up. Now, this project was recorded with a click. So it's mostly on the grid. So we could use that to line up our audio. Although, if you didn't play to a click, you could still line up your tracks to other tracks to keep them in time with each other. But this project was recorded to a click so we could use our grid. And we can see right here, it plays too early as the rest of the tracks come in on bar two. So we could do this two different ways. The first way is by splitting our audio and slip editing. I'll use the S key to split the audio right here. Type S. It creates a split with a crossfade. Do it again over here. And then just slide this piece into time. Now we could do this part two different ways as well. We could just drag the audio like this. But that messes up a crossfade on this side and this side. So instead, I'm going to use Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to just slip the contents of this audio within the item, like this. Hold on that modifier, and we can just drag the audio over to line it up with our grid. So this note should now be perfect, and the edits on both sides are still pretty good. Let's hear this. So this note is now perfect, but these are still a bit off. So I could try keeping the performance that our guitar player played, and let's hear that. Or we could put these notes on the grid, note by note. Again, splitting each side, hold down the modifier, move this one over, let's do the same with these. Let's split this and just move this, and let's hear that. It's a bit tighter with the grid, but personally, I kind of prefer how a guitar player played it. Just lining up the downbeat with the rest of the tracks. So that's one way to do this. We could also do this by stretching our audio. Let's delete this, drag this out, and do this with stretch markers. I'll put my mouse right here, type Shift W. It creates a stretch marker. Let's put another one over here, and another one at the end, over here. I create three, so if we stretch this one, it's not going to affect anything outside the stretch markers. So I can move this like this, holding down the Shift key to avoid snapping. And we can line up a note like this. But again, I want to keep the timing of this. So I'm going to delete this stretch marker, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and just stretch this note. But I kind of prefer the other way where I slip edited the audio. So let's undo this and do it the other way again. Type S to split this item and just move this by hand, holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and slip it into time. 
Sounds good. Now let's move on to the vocal. As I'm noticing right in the beginning over here, seems to play a bit late. As we can see, it comes in a bit late with our grid. Again, we can just fix these two notes with slip editing, type S to split it, hold on Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to move these notes a bit earlier. I think that sounds a bit better. Although, let's try moving this whole line a bit earlier on this item as well. Hear that back? Sounds a lot better. But again, we could do it by stretching the audio instead, like this. Create a stretch marker. Shift W, here and here, and just stretch this to start here. In the blue. Do the same over here, and readjust this to be more in time. In the blue. Than Sounds pretty good that way as well. Although again, I do prefer to do it with slip editing, this doesn't introduce the stretching algorithm, which could affect the sound quality. So I'm gonna put this back to when I split it and slipped the audio. Sounds good. Now I wanna move on to the bass. Let's mute the vocal. And up over here, I noticed a bass note at a time. Right over here, let's mute the guitars. This note is a bit late. Again, we could do this two different ways. Split the audio right here and here. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to slip it in time. Notice this brings in this note too early. Hold on shift to readjust our course fade. And let's trim this a bit shorter like this. Much better. But again, we could do this by stretching the audio. We want the end of this note to last a bit longer. So let's undo it. And instead, let's hit Shift W, here, here, and here. And let's stretch this to start a bit earlier. And notice the note is longer, matching how it was originally played. I think I prefer that one with the stretch marker as it extends the length of this note and still sounds pretty good. Let's hear it with the guitars. There's one other spot I want to check out on the drums. I have four tracks of drums, kick, snare, overheads, and room. And for something like this, we need to adjust all these tracks at the same time. We can't just readjust one of them. And I'm noticing over here that this snare is a bit too early. So I'm going to select all these items together by marquee selecting them. Right drag. And again, we could do this two different ways. We could hit the S key to split it over here and over here. Notice it splits all of them together. Let's just select this piece, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and slip it so it's right on the grid for all the tracks at the same time. And we can readjust our crossfade by holding down the Shift key so it doesn't overlap that earlier hit and check it over here as well. And that sounds like this. Much better. Or 
We could do this by stretching it. Let's undo that. Again, I'll put stretch markers over here by first selecting all these tracks. Shift W over here and over here. And again, over here. Now we could just shift this over and it stretches just this section over here, which will sound like this. It's in line perfectly. But I think the sound quality is changing a bit. So I'm gonna go back to slip editing for this. Again, I'll split it here and here. Just select this, zoom in, shift it like this, and hear back the result. It sounds a lot better. Let's hear it all back. Again, it sounds a lot better as we edited our audio two different ways. Slip editing by moving it after splitting it and stretching it using time stretching in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's slip editing and stretching audio in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.